welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to replace the chain on my Ducati Multistrada 1216 Duro. You typically should replace the sprockets and chain at the same time, however I'm only going to replace my chain because it only has a seized link. When I inspected the sprocket there is very minor wear to the sprockets. This decision could result in my chain wearing out prematurely, however that is a risk I'm willing to take after evaluating the cost of the additional parts and the lack of apparent wear. In addition, I take great care of my drivetrain because I want it to last a long time, which is why the sprockets are in good condition. So I start by removing the front sprocket cover so that I can clean out any dirt and grease. Here I'm using the Motion Pro Folding Chain Breaker. This is the point of the first of two mistakes I made during this process. My mistake was not clearly understanding the type of master link which the new chain utilized. I was expecting it to be a clipped master link like all the other previous smaller bikes that I have owned. What I found though is that DID as well as most major chain manufacturers do not make a clipped master link for the 530 size chains and I did not have a rivet tool. So the second I broke this chain apart I was kissing my upcoming weekend trip goodbye. The second mistake was not measuring the chain breaker pin. This was a less critical mistake, but still frustrating. It is supposed to fit 530 chains, however further reading the instructions it indicated that you should measure the pin and chain width to confirm the pin is long enough to drive the chain pin all the way. So while the tool did break the chain like a hot knife through butter, it was not long enough to drive the pin all the way out, so now the chain breaker was stuck to the old chain. I ended up driving the outer part in further to squeeze the two links together, and I was able to get the pin the rest of the way out. So if your bike is clean and the sprockets themselves don't need to be cleaned, save yourself some grief by using the new master link to connect the old and new chains together and pull the new chain through the drivetrain. I however had to do some cleaning. So after everything was all cleaned up, I installed the new chain. The chain I purchased was 120 links though, and the Multistrata 1260 Enduro only needs 114 links, so I had to remove 6 links. This time I used the new chain breaker riveting tool from DID that I purchased. It was not nearly as easy as the Motion Pro tool, but it was able to push the pin all the way through, so that was a plus. You will need to loosen the axle and the push bolts on both sides so that you can get the new chain installed. You then thoroughly grease up the new master link and o-rings. And then install the master link half. Then grease up the o-rings for the other side and install. I then placed the master link faceplate and used the press tool on the DID KM500 tool that I purchased. I like how the KM500 tool is very easy to use and prevent overdoing each step. For instance, the faceplate press. You press it until it bottoms out. The chain was still very fluid and didn't have any binding. I then pressed the rivets and again the KM500 makes this a simple task. You apply the rivet until the face of the rivet portion touches the faceplate. I found that the KM500 was not as easy to line up on the link pins though as the Motion Pro tool. However, if you have to rivet your master links, the Motion Pro tool isn't going to do you much good. I then adjusted my chain tension and took it for a short test ride. 
You can see my other videos if you're interested in understanding how to adjust chain tension. After I got back from the test ride, I then checked the chain tension and made final adjustment and I was all done. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up to support the channel.